Question 23. The equations for three reactions involve chlorine or its compounds are listed. Okay, which statement about these equations is correct? So let's go through all these answers. A. Equation 1 describes the formation of a compound used to kill bacteria in drinking water. So we know that uh, the chlorate here, the potassium chlorate 5, uh, is a strong oxidizing agent, but uh, if we want to know whether it's formed a compound that used to kill bacteria, it must be something like this. For example, the hydrogen chlorate or the hypochlorite acid, uh, it will decompose to form HCl and release the reactive oxygens atom, something like this. The oxygens in the square bracket. So this is the oxygens that used to kill bacteria. So in the equation one, the decomposition of this uh, uh, potassium chlorate is from KCl and O2, which is not the uh, this uh, reactive oxygen. So therefore, A is not the answer. B, equation one does not represent a redox reaction. So from here, we can see that the oxidation numbers of chlorine before the reaction is positive 5. So because here is negative 6, positive 1, this one is positive 5. After reaction, so it will form KCl. So this is negative 1. So from here, we know that the oxidation number change means it's a redox reaction. Of course, oxygen uh, is from negative 2 to 0. So this is a redox reaction. That's why B also wrong. Okay, For C, equation 2 describes the formation of potassium chlorate 4. So reaction 2 formation is this one. KClO4. So KClO4, we know that oxygen is negative 8 because it's negative 2 times 4. So it's negative 8. So this one is uh, the potassium is positive 1. The chlorine is positive 7. So therefore, it's not the potassium chlorine 4. It should be 7. So that's why C also wrong. For the D, equation 2 and 3 both represent disproportionation reaction. So see whether it's correct or not. Uh, first, you need to know what is disproportionation. means the elements is undergo oxidation and reduction at the same time. So for the reaction 2, chlorine from positive 5, it's oxidized to positive 7 here this is positive 7 so positive 7 and the chlorine also reduced to negative 1 so from positive 5 to positive 7 oxidation positive 5 to negative 1 reduction so means now the chlorine is undergo oxidation and reduction at the same time so the second statement, yes. For the uh, third equation, uh, the last equation or the third equation, uh, the chlorine initially is zero. And after reaction, it's formed two chlorine products. So the, the chlorine in KCl is negative one. In the KCl O3 is positive five. So we know that it's from 0 to negative 1, reduction, from 0 to positive 5, oxidation. So therefore, this one also a disproportionation reaction. So the equation 2 and 3, yes, 
they are disproportionation reaction answer is d that's all thank you